everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be talking about my first experience shopping at Gymshark so I I'm not really into fitness if I'm being real but your girl got real thick during quarantine you know what I'm saying? I decided to go ahead and start working out again, which I hadn't done since I injured myself about a year and a half to two years ago. I've had to like really work on rebuilding my strength. I've had physical therapy. I have to go to the chiropractor a lot um, to just make sure that everything's good. I have to get sometimes massages because I tense up too much, stuff like that. Um, and really taking care of myself has allowed me to lose a few pounds <laughs> and um, I'm really excited about that because I am getting healthier and I'm a lot happier for it I'm not very careful as to what I eat so even though I don't weigh a lot my percentage of body fat was pretty high um, and so I've just been trying to do some strength building and a lot of running cardio um, and it's been really good, plus I've been advised by several doctors that I need to run or do some sort of exercise to help with my mental health. So it's all going good and your girl has been at it, but that also means that I run out of clothes a lot for working out. I usually don't have a lot of workout clothes and I take forever to wash them, which is really gross, don't do that. I went ahead and went online to Gymshark and it just so happened that uh, Whitney Simmons was coming out with her collection. I did some research and I really liked what she was showing off as what would be in her collection and so I decided to buy some of the stuff from there and that was quite an experience. I decided to buy her stuff and the day that it launched I was going to barely be uh, making it to Dallas. I had to go for a speech that I had to give which if you haven't seen that video you can go ahead and click. And so I knew that it would be kind of hard to get my hands on everything that I wanted and it, it was to say the least. I was there probably about two or three minutes early to the website and the stuff started being released at around, I think it was like one minute before the actual launch was supposed to start. And I kid you not, within three minutes, everything was gone that I wanted. Everything like in my size was gone. It just... And I felt so dumb because I had gotten... Um, two pairs of leggings that I wanted in the same color and I only wanted one and so instead of like buying it I was like okay let me just go back remove one try to add the other color that I wanted and check out biggest mistake ever okay because by the time that I put my credit card information in they were like just kidding it's gone and uh, someone swooped right in and took it overall though I'm very happy with my purchase I think it's really cute and yeah so if you want to see what I got then just keep watching okay so the first thing that I got were all the um, like the whole set in her cyber red so I'll be putting the prices down here this is the sports bra that I got it's in the color like I said cyber red and I really, really like it. So on her website, it says that it is a, I think, low support bra to like medium maybe. Like, I, I don't remember. But I, I knew it wasn't high support. And I actually felt like because it's so like tight on you, you, you know, you, your girls don't move a lot. But if you have big boobs, I do not suggest wearing these for running because then they really would be low support on you. But for me, they worked out perfectly fine. I didn't feel like they moved around a lot. I actually really liked them, and I like this little this little thing in the back. I didn't know if I would end up liking them because, I don't know, I'm not, first of all, I'm not really a big color person, so this is really out of my comfort zone, but I decided to put myself out there. And um, I actually did really end up liking them. It has like a little line down the middle, 
and her name is right here. The second thing that I came or that I bought uh, were the leggings, and these are the ribbed high waisted. So they have a little bit of cinching at the bottom, and I am 5'4, so your girl's not that tall. And these uh, definitely hit all the way down to my ankle and some. So if you're taller, that's awesome. If you're not, they're going to be a full legging on you. I kind of expected that. I don't really mind. And so here is the back. It has a little butt scrunch, but as I'm sure you guys have seen in other videos, if, you've, if you have seen them, um, the butt scrunch goes away when you put it on. Like, it's not a noticeable butt scrunch. So that's really nice because it's not like, hey, what's up? It's just like, hello. It's just subtle. But yeah, I really liked it. And then this top part is ribbed. Now, I did see some reviews that said that because these are the more high compression leggings that they suggest you size up. I personally wouldn't. My waist in proportion to the size of my butt is a lot smaller. Um, so it's I usually have the problem of pants being too loose on me at my waist and too tight on my butt. That's why I wouldn't suggest sizing up because this fit my waist perfectly and this part is very stretchy so it fit my butt quite nicely. Now it does go up really high which I really really liked. I will say that I did not feel like it rolled down that much. I mean obviously if you're like, you know slouching or whatever it will roll down but it wasn't like really bad or anything like that the seams I know that she really worked hard on that it was like the flat seams or whatever and they are really nice it's just all it's just all very flat one thing I will say it's pretty hard to wear underwear with these like you will more than likely notice that you're wearing underwear even if it's a thong or seamless they're just, it's very easy to see. Do with that what you will. But yeah, I think that that was kind of interesting. I didn't really expect them to be that thin, but it does add to the lightweight kind of feel that they have. So it's kind of like, you know, a pro with a con type thing. Now I will say that there is a little bit of pilling already and I've only washed them once and I followed the directions exactly like they said like no fabric softener um, I even did delicate cycle and I did not put them in the dryer so that kind of sucks but it isn't really that bad another part where they did that is with these um this tag where this tag is I guess it was um, kind of moving around a lot while I ran and you can see a little bit of pilling there too I don't think it's really that big of a deal because it is a type of fabric that it is it is prone to pilling um, And it's not that bad, but it does kind of suck that after the first wash you can already start noticing a little bit of it um, But again, it's not it's not too bad and um, I really like them overall This is the crop top that I got It's inside out because you're also supposed to wash them inside out so this is the crop top, and it has the front seam going down in the center. Her name is in the back, and it's got this nice little opening in the back as well. And I really like this, this crop top. It has a little cinching here, too, on the side. I really like it. It's really nice, but I will say that it's a lot tighter than I expected. So I got a medium in this one as well. All of this stuff is a medium. And this one came a lot tighter. I have really big shoulders. So it could just be that. But, um, like, I don't do shoulder pads because your girl's already there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But anyways, and, oh, it has a different kind of, like, material on the ends, which is nice. And it also has really long, um, really long sleeves. And the little scrunch is here as well with a different type of fabric right here as well. And it has her little phrase on this part of the sleeve. And on the pants, I believe, I don't remember where it was. Oh, here, it's at the bottom of the, like the end of the pants, or the end of the legging, sorry, has the, um, her phrase. And then on her 
on her sports bra, it's right here along your along your along your chesticles. Now I will say I really like them. They are very very soft. Uh, other than the slight pilling that I see, I don't see anything wrong with them. I think that they're really really awesome. They make you feel really cute. They are definitely an eye catcher. But I will say that the color is not what I expected. It when it says cyber red, it actually means hot pink. I showed this to like three other people or four other people just to see what they thought because I was like maybe I, I'm just, I don't know. They all said pink, like hot pink. So I did think it was going to be a little bit more red and I kind of expected near the end that I was wrong about what I expected because of the reviews that I watched. Obviously they all had different lighting and so I started seeing that they had a little bit more pink than I expected. Um, and definitely that's that's what it was. It's more of a hot pink than a red. So do with that what you will. But overall, it's a very, very pretty color, and so I like I like it. I like it. I'm not mad at it. The next thing that I got were these regular leggings from her um, launch, from her launch, from her line there. So the, these are the regular ones. They don't go up as high. And they have like a really pretty back. I don't know if you can see, but it's got like a little cutout there. And um, her name is right here. And it has again the little flat seams, the butt scrunch in the back. These don't have the little scrunchy thing here. The logo of Gymshark is right here. And I think it has her, her phrase is somewhere here. Oh, it's inside. Her phrase is inside. Now, these are amazing, okay? These are amazing. I love them. I love them so much. So, like, for example, these, the thing is, these are, like I said, a little see-through. So, and it's only when they're stretched out. It doesn't, like, they're thick enough, but when you wear them, obviously, they stretch out. So, like, I can see, like, the indention of my belly button, you know? These, because they're black, you don't have to worry about that. It makes you look really snatched. I washed them after my sister washed her sweater. So they do have a lot of fuzzies on it right now, but that's to be expected with black. They make your booty look really pretty. And they do go up really high as well. They're very comfortable. I like it. I like it a lot. I bought these basically but in her short version like the biker shorts so those are the ones that I'm wearing I really like them I will say oh note these and the biker shorts roll down a lot more in my opinion than these do it's not really that bad but just in case you want to know I still think that they're extremely comfortable and I really really like them I love the color black and then the last thing is this sweatshirt her cropped sweatshirt now this is so wet because I decided that it was a brilliant idea to wait till the day that I was gonna film this video to wash all my black clothes so um, it's a little wet especially the hood oh my god but I am obsessed with this cropped hoodie it's got um, so the line down the middle the nice little hoodie and on the laces it has her little uh, phrase and her name is on the little tiny gold thingies. It's just no complaints about this one. It's amazing. I want it so much and I literally, I think I just got it last week and I want it like three or four times. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think that's it. Overall, I think that it was all a really awesome purchase. I am really excited. I think that I will be purchasing again from Gymshark. I think that it's a really awesome brand and it's very comfy. But like I said, it is a little, well I don't think I've said this, but it is a little on the pricier end. Like it's not your Walmart, it's not your Amazon leggings, um, which is what I was used to. So they are a little bit expensive, but I thought you know, I, so up until now, guys, I've lost 16 pounds, and um, I decided that at 15, 
ish pounds this was gonna be my present to myself so <laughs> I decided to splurge on it for you know like a little I met my goal so far and um, yeah I really like it I will say oh <gasps> sweat I don't sweat that much like it takes a lot for me to sweat when I'm working out and when I wore these I wore them outside while I was like walking slash running and I didn't really sweat that much if I'm being honest like you can't you couldn't really see it like you could but you couldn't like oh my god she's sweating and uh I saw Whitney Simmons's video on it and she did say that she did not make these thinking about sweat she was thinking more of like how comfortable they were how lightweight they were and so she said that if you do think that you sweat a lot more to stick to more of the darker colors and now I wore these black ones when I wore like a waist, not a waist trainer, like the waist thing, well sort of, the waist thing that like makes you sweat a lot more on your stomach area and these, these got, these got pretty soaked. So that makes me think that if I would have worn that during the day that I ran in these, you would have definitely been able to see my sweat. So I would definitely say if you are worried about sweat stains, or not stains, but like sweat, just the look of sweat, um, stick to the darker colors. Overall though, I really liked my purchase. I think she did a really good job. They're really cute, really feminine. I think it's genius to have the butt scrunch that you can't really see while it's on. I think that was amazing. And like, yeah, there's a little few things here and there, like I mentioned, but overall, it was pretty good. So, yeah, I'm glad that you made it to the end of this video, and um, thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions as to what kind of athletic wear I should purchase, or just any suggestions at all as to what videos you would like to watch, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. I always forget to say that. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and check out my Instagram. It's, it's down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.